Today, we're gonna to take a look at the brand new Smart Tag 2 from Samsung. Now, as soon as you get these out of the box, you'll notice that it's changed completely from the previous generation. Now, the previous generation was sort of like a diamond shape, was very plasticky. They've kept the same sort of plastic on the outside. However, there is a metal ring here as well. That will increase durability. Now, the rest of the Smart Tag is a little bit thinner than the previous generation, and now is about as thin as an Apple AirTag. However, with an AirTag, you have to have an additional accessory to attach it to your keys. The Smart Tag, thankfully, can still easily attach to many different items thanks to this large opening here. While unboxing the Smart Tag 2, I noticed there was no plastic. Compare this to the previous generation and there was a large plastic housing that the Smart Tag sat in. This is perfect as it reduces plastic waste. Now, talking about other materials, I've noticed that I've already managed to scratch the plastic housing on the Smart Tag 2. It's not super noticeable, but it is quite annoying. Pair this with the fact that this matte black version definitely picks up a lot of fingerprints. I don't think this is gonna stay in pristine condition. Samsung have released cases for the Smart Tag 2 this year, so maybe that's why. Setup for the Smart Tag 2 was definitely very easy. Simply remove this blue tab, open the Smart Things app, and it should pop up. Then you can name your Smart Tag exactly what you want, and then start to find it. As someone that uses an AirTag, this is basically the same setup. However, there is one additional feature that I quite like about the Smart Tag 2. If you toggle this Find Phone or Tablet on, you can simply double press the button on the Smart Tag, which will then make your phone ring. Now, the Smart Tag 2 is only available in white and black. Personally, I think they both look great. The white will probably get a little bit dirty over time, while the black definitely picks up more fingerprints. On the previous Smart Tag, they did have oatmeal and some other colors, so maybe they'll release some more down the line. One of the biggest changes this year is how you change the battery. Included in the box is a SIM card ejection tool, which you just put in this little hole in the metal ring here, and then out pops the battery. It's a lot simpler than last year, where you had to sort of jam something in and twist it round. Now talking about batteries, the battery life on the Smart Tag 2 is greatly improved over the previous generation. With power saving mode on, you should get around 700 days. Without that on, you should still see around 500 days, which is much better than the previous generation's 165. Now compare that to the AirTag as well, and this will only last about 12 months. This is great as it's definitely one of the pain points of owning one of these trackers. I've currently got four AirTags that are all running out of battery and I still haven't been bothered to get some. Now, the previous generation used to have a Smart Tag and a Smart Tag Plus. That Plus model brought AR tracking and essentially meant that you could use your camera on your phone and point it where the tracker might be. Then there was some clever graphics over the top that would help you find your belongings. This comes as standard now in the Smart Tag 2 and it's great to see. There's other minor improvements to this Smart Tag as well. It's now IP67 water resistant, so don't be worried if you get caught out in the rain with it. And Samsung also claimed that this can be found underground. So I suppose in places like London or New York, that might be quite useful. Overall, I think the Smart Tag 2 is definitely an upgrade over the previous generation. I'd be interested to see how the casing lasts over time though, so maybe if you're cautious about that, grab a case for it. If you'd like to see how the Smart Tag operates within the app, check out our other Smart Tag video. And if you'd like to purchase one of these, check out the links in the description as well.